Hello, students. It is Mr. Like, and today we are having a lesson on common vocabulary items that you saw in your lesson learn paper during your second term examination of English language. And today, after watching this lesson, you are going to、uh, complete some worksheets as well. Let's start. There are several parts in this lesson. The first one is, what is vocabulary learning? Second, what you should learn when you learn a new English word. Number three, there will be ten vocabulary items that you're going to learn more about today. And lastly, there will be a bit about the worksheets. Next, now on to some basic things you should know about a new word. Number one, spelling. That is when someone asks you the question, "How do you spell the word activity?" You should be able. To answer by saying A C T I V I T Y. Number two, meaning. That is, what does the word activity mean? And number three, pronunciation. How do you pronounce this word? It would be great if you learn something about. Phonics when you were a primary student, or as now you are now a secondary student, it would be even greater if you learn something about、um, the IPAs. Number four, part of speech. As you can see, I've given you the Chinese meaning here, so you should know that part of speech is also very very important. That is. You should have some knowledge to see or to decide whether the word activity is it a noun, is it a pronoun, is it a verb, or is it an adjective. Now let's move on to the vocabulary items. The first vocabulary item. Promote. It is a verb. The first meaning is to encourage people to like, buy, use, do, or support something. Example: Greenpeace works to promote natural dangers that threaten our planet today. The second meaning: to raise someone. To a higher or more important position. Example: It is time to promote the most hardworking and experienced worker to team leader. That's the first vocabulary item. Right on to the second. Number two. Eco-friendly, and it is an adjective. The meaning here is not harmful or even good to the environment or nature. Example: Eco-friendly detergents. So the meaning is quite straightforward here, and I encourage. That you try to、uh, make some sentences of your own with this word "eco-friendly." Next, number three, inform, and it is a verb. The meaning is to tell someone about particular facts. Example: I informed my boss that. I'm going to be away tomorrow. 
So the meaning of inform, you may say it is almost the same as tell, T-E-L-L, -L, tell. The difference is that inform is, it sounds more formal. Okay, when you uh, speak or write to uh, your boss at work, uh, you may actually use this word, okay, inform, because it's more formal, it sounds more polite, okay? So that's the explanation about the word inform. Next. Number four, judging criteria. And it is a noun. The meaning is standards for judging if someone or something is right or wrong. Example, you should pay attention to the judging criteria when you joined a competition. So here you may say judging criteria means similarly uh, as the word rules. Okay, but these criteria uh, are especially important when there are judges in a competition. Okay. So that means those people, okay, uh, they have much knowledge, they are very famous, they have the right to decide, okay, whether you win a competition or not. And there are some standards to, for them to follow. And those standards are the judging criteria. Next. Number five, volunteer. And here we explain it as a verb. The meaning is to offer to do something that you do not have to do, often without having been asked to do or without expecting returns. Example 1. During the emergency, many staff volunteer to work through the weekend. Example 2. He volunteered for the army. So here are the meanings, and I encourage that you uh, do the same to try to use this word in your own sentences. Next. Number six, objective. And it is a noun. The first meaning is something that you plan to do or achieve. Example, her main objective now is simply to stay in power. If you understand this example sentence, you should know that that female person uh, could be, let's say, the chairman of an organization or the boss of a company or maybe a high-ranking official in the government something like that okay to stay in power and actually the meaning is quite, is quite simple okay there are some words that means uh, similarly uh, one example is g-o-a-l go g-o-a-l go so that's it, okay. Uh, let's move on to the next item. Ah, oh, sorry, one more example. Can the salesman meet their objectives? Okay, uh, in case you did not know, salesmen are people who uh, introduce products and services to customers. When customers uh, buy products or services from them, they earn more money. Okay, number seven, sustainable. It is an adjective. And the first meaning here is able to continue over a period of time. Example, this kind of unhealthy diet is not sustainable in the long run. So this same this sentence means that 
if you have some very unbalanced diet, let's say you only eat meat, okay, or even you tend to eat uh, some canned food, such as luncheon meat, uh, such as uh, sardines with tomato sauce, okay, in the long run, okay, your body will become unhealthy, okay, it will be pretty bad for your health, okay, in the long run. Okay, the second meaning, causing little or no damage to the environment and therefore able to continue. Example, an international meeting was held to promote sustainable development in all countries. So after understanding these uh, meanings and examples, and you should know that this word is sustainable, appears quite often in the subject of geography or liberal studies. Next. Number eight, meaningful. It is an adjective. The first meaning is intended to show meaning often directly. Example, she raised one eyebrow in a meaningful way. So here, this example, what it means is uh, people can communicate not only by words, but also by facial expression, okay? Okay, so uh, when you smile or when you laugh, okay, even though uh, other people may not, uh, be able to hear how hard you laugh, okay? They know that you are happy by seeing, okay, your mouth, okay, or even your teeth, okay? And here, she raised uh, one eyebrow, okay? So somehow, you move only one eyebrow on your face to mean something else, okay? To show a hidden meaning or to uh, send a hidden message to someone. The second meaning is useful, serious, or important. Example, it is meaningful to help others when they have needs. It's quite easy to understand, right? The second uh, meaning as well as the second example. So uh, that's why, okay, it is um, it's quite often or common for teachers to say, Students, you should do something meaningful uh, in your break, or you should do something meaningful after school, okay? Spend your time wisely. That is what teachers mean by meaningful. Next. Number nine, guidelines. It is a noun. The meaning is information to advise people on how to do something or what they should do. Example, the government has issued guidelines on how restaurants should check customers before they enter and have meals. So this word guidelines may seem difficult to some of you, but actually uh, you see this word in Chinese all the time, okay? Maybe at school, uh, may, or maybe when you are right in front of a restaurant, or when you watch a TV. Next. Number 10, the last one. Charity sales. And it is a noun here. The meaning, an event where sellers sell things not for profits, but for money to help people. Example, charity sales are less common in Hong Kong now. So as you can see from the pictures here, you know what a charity sale means. Though it is uh, less common, but uh, I encourage all of you here, if you ever uh, see a charity sales uh, ongoing, uh, you should uh, take a look, okay, in your home to see if there's anything you do not need, okay? 
you grab it okay and try to sell it in the trade sale okay uh for for someone else's life okay you are going to uh, make the life of others better in a charity sale so that's it for all the uh, 10 vocabulary items here today and of course we have worksheets so here okay you see it is uh, how the first page of your worksheets look like and part a is fill in the blanks okay and there are quite a lot of uh, chinese tips for you already so you should be able to do it on your own and for part b that is not shown here okay in part b you should take a look of the different parts of different chunks okay uh of a sentence and try your best to reorder or rearrange them to make the sentence correct and meaningful okay that is what you should do on your worksheets conclusion vocabulary learning works only when you care about how to use a new word and have revision regularly Teachers might not always have a vision on vocabulary items in lesson. And therefore, you should try out different ways to help yourself remember all the new words. Of course, the best way to remember any new word is to use it when you write and speak in English. So that's all for today's lesson and thank you very much.